This Week in Politics on KSFY. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. We have two interesting conversations for you tonight. In just a few minutes, Sioux Falls City Councilor Christine Erickson discusses the challenges facing the proposed Behavioral Health Triage Center and downtown redevelopment in Sioux Falls. But we will begin here tonight with South Dakota's Lieutenant Governor, Matt Michaels. He has a little more than seven months left in office. I began by asking him, why didn't he run for governor this year? If it's not fun anymore, then I don't want to do it. Lieutenant Governor Matt Michaels doesn't want anyone to misunderstand his decision-making process for not running for governor this year. When he says fun, he means challenging. Would this be challenging? In other words, fun. And it wouldn't be. You, a lot of people would say, oh, you don't like the campaigning or anything. No, we've done that. I've, I've been through that. It's not a question of that. It's you said tomorrow that you're governor. Uh, would you have fun? Would you see challenges? Would you enjoy it? And the answer is not anymore. Part of the reason Michaels doesn't desire the state's top job, he says he has been able to accomplish many of his personal political goals while serving with Dennis Dugard as his lieutenant governor, including school funding, teacher pay, the beginnings of criminal justice reform, and restoring the state budget and the national view of South Dakota's financial strength. We set out with a goal that we would be one of the finest financial respected states in the nation, and it is true. We were one of 12 that are AAA. I had a part in that. Michaels tells me he has no intention of placing his name on a ballot for any type of elected office again, that his time in public service is done. But that is not to say he is done advocating for change in South Dakota. He tells me he plans on being deeply involved in developing a meaningful behavioral health system in South Dakota, one that helps those with addictions and illnesses, instead of only punishing them for any crime connected to their problem. My family has individuals, everybody who's watching has had individuals that have had depression, anxiety reactive disorder, folks who've committed suicide. It's something that we need to continue to talk about. We have a, a suicide task force that I put together here a couple of years ago, and it will be ongoing on what we need to do to help people who feel despondent or who need clinical care. Michaels comes by his interest in this in a very personal way. His father was an alcoholic. And over time, Michael's interest in helping those who need it has grown beyond those battling alcoholism and into the arena of illicit drug use and those working through a mental illness. The lieutenant governor tells me there is still a stigma associated with mental illness, one he believes is grossly unfair. If you saw someone walking down by your office here and they're talking to themselves, they may have a schizophrenia and we're going to avoid them as though they're some sort of criminal instead of somebody who has a disease. Whereas if the individual had cancer and had this sign that says, I've got cancer, you would go, what can I do to help? Matt Michaels has a sense of humor about his position in state government. For example, he says not many people recognize him. The five people uh, that realize that uh, uh, I'm the lieutenant governor. <laughs> but before he was lieutenant governor, Michael served in the South Dakota House from 1999 until 2006, four of those years as Speaker of the House. He knows how peer works, and he knows intimately the issues the state is facing. And one thing he is concerned about is the uncertainty of international trade and how it is affecting South Dakota farmers. I asked Michaels if he has concerns about the U.S. pulling out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership and the lucrative trade deals in expanding Asian nations. More than concerns personally. Um, you know me pretty well. I can get animated and, and go ballistic. I've lived in that part of the world. I've lived in the Far East. China adds South Dakota's population every month. Let's think about that. Michael says some type of Asian rim trade deal needs to be reached and NAFTA needs to be firmed up so South Dakota's ag industry can work with more certainty. As his time in office grows short and his retirement from politics imminent, Matt Michael says he has loved every minute of it. It's selfish. I love doing it. It's, it's a selfish thing. It's not like, oh, I'm such a great person. But he tells me the real secret of his success has been his wife. There is no way, and you will fully understand this, there is no way I would have been able to be in any of this public service if Karen, my wife, didn't say, that's super, I'm right with you. South Dakota Lieutenant Governor Matt Michaels joining us tonight on This Week in Politics. Up next here on KSFY, Sioux Falls City Councilor Christine Erickson and whether there should be a baseball stadium in downtown Sioux Falls, among other topics. We'll be right back.